stop everything you're doing. This message isn't just urgent, it's a matter of spiritual life and death. God showed me what's coming tomorrow, and I'm literally trembling as I share this. The signs are already appearing. I see you there, clutching your phone, desperately seeking answers in a world that seems to be crumbling. You've felt it, haven't you? That deep stirring in your spirit, that knowing that something momentous approaches. This is not by chance. You were drawn to this message for such a time as this. The very fact that you're hearing these words now is a testament to my divine timing in your life. The signs are everywhere, my child. While the world sleeps, I have been orchestrating events that will soon culminate in ways that will leave many in awe. The shakings you've witnessed, in the nations, in the economies, in the very earth itself, these are but the beginning birth pangs of what is to come. Even the skeptics cannot deny that something unprecedented is unfolding. In the quiet hours of the night, I've heard your prayers. The tears you've shed in secret, thinking no one sees. I've collected each one. Your struggles with finances, relationships, health, they haven't gone unnoticed. But what you perceived as setbacks were actually setups for what I'm about to do. Every trial has been a training ground. Every challenge a stepping stone to your destiny. Listen carefully now, for this message carries weight for your tomorrow. Just as I warned Noah before the floods came, I'm warning my children today. A great shift is approaching, not a shift that brings destruction to my faithful ones, but one that ushers in divine positioning. What seemed impossible yesterday will suddenly break open tomorrow. The very obstacles that appeared insurmountable will crumble before your eyes. I see those who have mocked you, questioned your faith and tried to shake your conviction. They've called you foolish for believing, naive for hoping, misguided for trusting in what they cannot see. But tomorrow, oh tomorrow, they will understand. The very ones who doubted will witness my hand moving in undeniable ways. Their mockery will turn to amazement as they witness the manifestation of what you've been declaring in faith. To my warriors who have been hidden in the secret place, your season of preparation is coming to an end. Those nights of wrestling in prayer, those days of standing firm when everything seemed to be falling apart, they were not in vain. I've been forging something in you that could only be shaped through fire. The intensity of your trials matches the magnitude of your calling. The enemy meant to break you, but I've used every attack to strengthen you. There are doors I'm about to open that no man can shut. Opportunities that will seem to materialize out of thin air. Connections that will form so divinely orchestrated that none can deny my hand in them. But remember, this isn't for your glory. This is for the display of my power in an age where many have forgotten who I am. You are my vessels, chosen and prepared for this precise moment in history. The economic systems you've relied upon, watch them closely. What seems stable today will reveal its fragility tomorrow. But fear not, my children who have learned to trust in me as their source. While others panic, you will walk in supernatural provision. Your obedience in the small things has positioned you for abundance in the scarce times. I'm establishing alternative systems of provision that the world's wisdom cannot comprehend. To those who have felt forgotten in their workplace, tomorrow brings vindication. Those who have undermined you, who have taken credit for your work, who have spoken against you in secret meetings, I've seen it all. Your promotion doesn't come from men, but from me. And when I promote, no one can demote. The very ones who plotted your downfall will witness your uprising. Your integrity in the face of injustice has not gone unnoticed. Parents who have been praying for their wayward children, hold fast. The prayers you've sown with tears are about to reap a harvest of joy. Those late-night intercessions, those moments when your faith was tested to its limits, they have risen to me as a sweet incense. Tomorrow brings prodigals home. The very devices and influences that drew them away will become instruments of their return. Your consistency in prayer has built a highway for their homecoming. To my prophetic voices who have been silenced, ridiculed, and pushed to the margins, Tomorrow is your day of validation. The words I planted in your heart, which you've carried faithfully despite opposition, are about to manifest. What you spoke in the wilderness will be broadcast from the rooftops. The very platforms that once rejected you will seek you out. Your words will carry an authority that cannot be denied or ignored. 
But hear this warning clearly. Pride has no place in this next move. Those who seek to use these coming events for personal gain or recognition will find themselves removed from their positions. This season requires clean hands and a pure heart. The humble will be exalted, and the exalted will be humbled. Integrity and authenticity will be the hallmarks of my true vessels. To those in ministry who have labored faithfully, while others built their platforms through compromise, tomorrow brings a holy distinction. The difference between the genuine and the counterfeit will become stark. Those who have merchandised my word for profit will find their influence crumbling, while those who have served in obscurity will be thrust into prominence. The spirit of Elijah is being released to restore authentic worship and expose false altars. Watch the skies, my children, not in fear, but in anticipation. Signs in the heavens will confirm these words. Just as the wise men followed my star, those with eyes to see will recognize my cosmic signatures. These signs are not for fear, but for confirmation to my people that their redemption draws near. The alignment of heavenly bodies will declare my timeline with undeniable clarity. For those questioning their geographical location, some of you need to move, and you know who you are. That persistent nudge, that recurring thought about relocating, it's not random. Tomorrow's safety lies in today's obedience. Some places that seem secure now will become vulnerable, while unlikely locations will become refuges. Trust the inner witness. That gentle but persistent leading is my guidance system at work. To my entrepreneurs and business owners who have chosen integrity over profit, tomorrow brings supernatural clients and divine contracts. The deals that fell through, they were my protection. The doors that closed, they were my direction. Now watch as I open channels of provision that defy natural explanation. Business models will be downloaded from heaven that revolutionize entire industries. Intercessors who have felt the weight of nations. The travail is about to give birth. Those heavy burdens, those gut-wrenching prayers, those moments when you carried the weight of cities and nations. Breakthrough is upon us. Tomorrow reveals the fruit of your labor. The nations you've carried in your heart will experience supernatural visitation. Your prayers have been building momentum in the spirit realm. To those in the medical field who have stood for truth despite pressure to conform, tomorrow brings vindication. Your courage in maintaining ethical standards, your refusal to compromise patient care for protocols, it has been noted in heaven. Watch as truth breaks through the barriers of deception. New healing methods will emerge that confirm what you've known in your spirit. Artists, musicians, and creatives who have waited to release what I've given you. Tomorrow is your moment. The projects you've held close, the visions that seem too bold. Their time has come. What the world calls controversial, I call revolutionary. Release what I've given you without fear. Your creations will carry an anointing that breaks chains and sets captives free. But mark this. Tomorrow's blessings require today's preparation. Guard your hearts from offense. Forgive quickly, love extravagantly. The enemy seeks to disqualify many through bitterness and unforgiveness. Don't let temporary wounds rob you of permanent purpose. Every relationship, every interaction is a test of your readiness for what's coming. To those who have felt forgotten in their giving, your secret acts of generosity have built you a storehouse in heaven. Tomorrow brings supernatural return on every seed sown in faith. Those who have given their last meal like the widow of Zarephath, watch your oil multiply. The laws of multiplication are being activated for those who have given sacrificially. The technology you hold in your hands, it will be used for my glory in unprecedented ways. What was meant for distraction will become a tool for revival. Messages like this one will break algorithms, reaching those who didn't even know they were searching for me. Digital platforms will become pulpits, and social networks will carry the power of divine connection. A word to my young prophets. The dreams and visions are increasing for a reason. What you see in the spirit, write it down. Tomorrow vindicates your obedience. The riddles will make sense. The symbols will align. And your age will no longer be a barrier to your authority. You carry a mandate that transcends human understanding. For those in government positions who have maintained their integrity, Hold fast. Tomorrow reveals why I positioned you where you are. Like Daniel in Babylon, 
Your presence in the system is part of my strategic placement. Your influence is about to expand beyond your imagination. Policies and decisions will flow through you that reshape nations. To my scientists and researchers who have maintained faith despite pressure to conform to secular narratives, your discoveries are about to align with my word in ways that silence critics. Watch as new findings emerge that confirm ancient truths. The very tools of science will become instruments of revelation, pointing to intelligent design and divine order. For my teachers and educators standing firm in truth, your classrooms are about to become centers of awakening. The wisdom you've maintained against the tide of cultural confusion will shine brighter than ever. Young minds will be drawn to the clarity and authority with which you speak. You are preparing the next generation of leaders who will walk in both knowledge and wisdom. To those working in media and communications, get ready for supernatural amplification. The stories you've been inspired to tell, the messages you've held back, their time has come. Truth will break through the noise with unprecedented clarity. Your words will carry a weight that cuts through deception and illuminates reality. Remember this, tomorrow's miracles are unlocked by today's praise. Even now, begin to thank me for what you haven't seen. Your gratitude is a key that unlocks heaven's storehouses. The more you praise in the midnight hour, the more you'll see in the morning light. Let your worship rise even before the manifestation appears. To my prayer warriors who have maintained the night watch, your persistence is about to pay off. The spiritual atmosphere you've been shifting in the secret place will manifest in the natural realm. Strongholds will crumble, demonic assignments will be canceled, and liberation will come to regions you've targeted in prayer. For those who have invested in the next generation, your seeds of truth and love are about to sprout with supernatural speed. The young ones you've mentored, the lives you've touched. Watch as they rise up with a boldness that surpasses your own. They will carry your legacy further than you imagined possible. To those who hear this message, share it. Not for views or likes, but because lives hang in the balance. Tomorrow's harvest depends on today's sowing. Every share, every forward, every moment spent spreading this word counts in heaven's economy. You are part of a divine distribution network releasing hope in a time of despair. The clock strikes with urgency, my children. Tomorrow is not just another day. It's the day of divine convergence, where preparation meets opportunity, where faith meets manifestation. Tomorrow is coming, my beloved ones, and with it comes everything I have promised. Stand firm, stay ready. The time is now. The culmination of ages draws near, and you have been chosen for such a time as this. Let faith arise, let hope surge, let love prevail. For tomorrow, yes, tomorrow, everything changes.